All right, so we are going to calculate using the reducing balance method, reducing balance method, or also known as the diminishing balance method. So this is just a very short and easy formula. So to calculate depreciation here, it's gonna be your cost less your accumulated depreciation, meaning your depreciation for all the previous years added together, multiplied by the percentage, then you have the depreciation for that specific year so in this case for year one the question says a company purchases a machine for 50,000 with a useful life of five years the depreciation is 30 percent calculate the depreciation expense for each year so in the first year what our depreciation will be will be your 50,000 minus zero since we do not have any depreciation for the previous year times your 30 percent so 50,000 minus 0 times 50 percent so that's 50,000 times 30 percent this will give us 15,000 so that's your depreciation for year one now for year two we have your 50,000 minus your 15,000 because now it's your depreciation for the previous year times your 30 percent so we say your 50,000 minus your 15 percent of the previous year so we get 35,000 so now your 35,000 multiplied by your 30 percent should give us the depreciation for year two which is 10,500 so note that the depreciation is lower so when we talk about reducing or diminishing balance method your depreciation for the following years will never exceed the ones for the previous year so it's 15 10 and it will go lower 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 okay so year three we have your, co your cost is 50,000 now subtract your accumulated depreciation so it will be the depreciation together for the previous years so 15,000 plus 10,500 times 30 percent Okay, so you always keep adding the depreciation for the previous years. So if we say 15,000 plus 10,500, that is 25,500, okay? So 50,000 minus 25,500, we get 24,500. Multiplied by your 30%, your depreciation is 7,350 for year three so year four we say now your fifty thousand minus we add the depreciation for all the years so you add your fifteen thousand add your ten thousand five hundred add your seven thousand three hundred and fifty multiplied by your thirty percent and how much do we get so we say your 15,000 plus 10,500 plus 7,350. So our depreciation in total is 32,850. And then we say your 50,000 minus that. So this gives us 17,150. 17,150 multiplied by your 30 percent is going to be 5,145 for year four okay now year five we have to now add again the depreciation for all these years so we say 50,000 then you go ahead and add so but the easiest thing you can do so this is just for demonstration purposes is just to always take note of your accumulated depreciation and then you just keep adding on so in this case what we'll do is we just say your 15,000 plus your 10,500 plus 7,350 was basically your 32,850 and then you just add the depreciation for the previous year to make the calculation process much easier you just add the 5145 times 30 percent so if you say now your 32 
850 minus 5145, 27705. Okay, then your 50,000 minus that, you get 22,295 times your 30 percent you get your depreciation in year five of six thousand six eight eight point fifty so that is how you calculate your depreciation for each year using the reducing balance method